Ah. Good morning. I know this is last minute, but if it's possible, could you come and see me during lunch today? Glad to hear it. I wanted to discuss something with you, since it'll be our last chance to do so here. Yes, my time here at Shujin is coming to an end today. It's quite the sad affair. I do have a farewell speech to give the school at morning assembly, but I'd also like to speak with you individually. Considering the occasion, lunch is on me. I'll have something special waiting for you, so you look forward to that. Well, I'll see you later. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. And finally, we would like Dr. Maraki to share a few last words with the student body. Well, Doctor, if you will. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. As the Vice Principal has mentioned, today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. several months, I've come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies. In fact, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. <laughs> but before I leave here, I want to offer you a final piece of counseling. If your situation ever becomes too painful to endure, remember, it's okay for you to escape your problem. I don't want a single one of you to think that an unfair reality you've been forced into is the only one that you have to live. It's okay. Um, what I'm trying to say is, even if your life is full of worries, it's best for you not to obsess over them. Your existence in this world is an amazing miracle. You deserve to spend your days in happiness. I'll keep on rooting for all of you to have the best lives possible, even after I'm long gone. Ow. <laughs> I guess things don't always pan out like you expect. Well, that's it. Thank you for having me here this year. Good luck to you all. Dr. Mark! Dr. Mark! I wanted to thank him personally, but it may be best to hold off on that for a bit. Mm hmm. I doubt we could get a word in edgewise, anyhow. Thank you for coming here. Since this is about to be my last meal at Shujin, I've brought the best lunch ever. These tempura bowls are from a restaurant I've been curious about since I first came to the school. I'd always passed on it due to the price, but today is special. Not only that, I ordered the deluxe bowls for us. I should be the one thanking you. All right, let's eat. This aroma's really triggered my appetite. Too bad I can't see anything now. I'm so glad I splurged on that. Upscale dishes like that really do taste incredible. I wish I could just get lost in this bliss forever. Well, now that we've finished our food, let's get down to business. First off, I have quite big news. My paper's done. I've mentioned this before, but still, this is truly thanks to you. Had you not shared your experience and insights with me, this paper never would have been completed. Please, allow me to express my gratitude to you once more as a most helpful student of Shujin. 
and as a phantom thief as well. There's no need to be obtuse. Why don't you take a look at the title of my paper over there? You know, the Phantom Thieves' act of changing hearts is rather reminiscent of cognitive science in practice. They infiltrate a reality that exists solely for their target. A reality wholly separated from the one that the public recognizes. By accessing that world, they gain the means of permanently altering their target's cognition. That is what I hypothesize as being the change of hearts you induce in your targets. Well, I did pour my heart and soul into this research for a number of years. To be entirely honest, it was all the way back in April, when I first came to speak with the principal here about providing counseling to you students. I actually witnessed the moment when you came out of an individual's reality like I'd mentioned. You suddenly appeared in the back alley near the school. I believe Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san were with you? Takamaki-san appeared to be extremely exhausted. Mm. Thanks. Thanks. It wasn't long after that scene that Mr. Kamoshida had his change of heart. Beyond what I witnessed, I had also been told that you three were closely affiliated with Mr. Kamoshida in some way. At that point, I was already half convinced that you were involved. I was almost certain Mr. Kamoshida's change of heart was provoked by the three of you. Hmm. Well... I've been researching cognitive science ever since I was a grad student. For years, I've been attempting to directly interact with an individual's cognition, so I can help address their pain and despair. But, for certain reasons, this research has never been acknowledged in academia. Despite that, I continually pursued evidence that my hypothesis is correct. It was during that time I happened to come across the Phantom Thieves of Hearts fresh from a mission. My heart began to dance. I thought to myself, maybe I could complete my research if I were to have your assistance. That's why I approached you and your group of friends in the first place. I hadn't mentioned any of this until now because, well, I didn't want you to take it the wrong way and suspect my motives. But I think that's everything I'd kept from you. Does that change your opinion of me? A deal, eh? Well, I'm awfully grateful you see it that way. And just so you know, I have no intention of telling anyone about this. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you're free to change my heart as you like. Thanks to you, I finally know what I need to do. I'm going to stand up to our current reality. I swear I'll use my research to make our world a better place. Though, it'll likely be through different means than how the Phantom Thieves reform members of society. Indeed. You have a strong moral compass, never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. Although it's not like this is the last time we'll see one another, still, thank you for everything up to this point. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the Counselor, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. I'm going to follow the path that I believe in. I sincerely hope that one day, at the end of that path, I'll be able to aid you as well. Even if you just considered it to be meddling in your affairs. Whoops. Looks like we're out of time. We'll meet again though, right? That 
That's right. Hey. No, it's nothing. Best of luck to the both of us. See you around. He reserved the place just for us. We're free to drink as much coffee as we want. Ain't this place always empty, though? Huh? Everyone here is a witness. Uh, uh, I, I was just joking. Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? I could always put it on Saisan's desk. People know me there, so I could gain access easily. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. I'll do it. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. That would be the least risky method, no matter what she asks. I'll tell her I don't know anything. But Makoto, that's... You're our leader, so this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? Is that really the only way? I'll be okay. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. We will leave it to you then. Thank you for agreeing to this. I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Very well then. We'll enter from in front of the courthouse. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? Yep. Got it. Same as always. Well then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed. Madame Sae Nijima, a great sinner of jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. For its sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. From the Phantom Thieves. I found it in our mailbox. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart? What nonsense! They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them! Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Why do you ask? Oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. That's right. It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Do this fair and square. I should probably be getting back. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. Sis. <gasps> I'm on your side. I won't let anyone do anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> what an odd girl. Do you need to make a call? I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. 
There's something I need to inform you of. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. It was addressed to me directly and... Stand by? And you've transferred command of the investigation to someone else? No, of course not. Yes. I understand. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. Okay. We can't afford any mistakes, especially not this time. Tomorrow's a big day for us, so let's give it our all. Oh, you want to do it? Um, are you all prepared? What of the calling card, Makoto? I showed it to Sis. She took it from my very own hands. Makoto. I understand how you feel, but you mustn't be so downtrodden. Yeah, if we screw this up, we're done for. It's way more than losing the place we belong. We could even lose our lives here, you know. It'll be all right. I want to save my sister, no matter what. Has everyone decided? Mm-hmm. All's well that ends well. So much has happened since we first started. You guys have become quite the reliable team. All right, Joker. This is the Phantom Thieves' final heist. Give us the signal. It's showtime. Have a moment. Yes. Ah. 
What kind of game will it be this time? No matter what you bring out, we will emerge victorious. You are making a grave mistake if you think you have me cornered. I only guided you here because this place allows me to fight to my heart's content. Sis... When my father died in the line of duty, I hated his killer from the bottom of my heart. Dying to uphold justice sounds virtuous, but the ones left behind have to clean up the mess. Can you imagine the hardships I had to endure? Perhaps I had overestimated her. I thought her reasoning would have been more noble somehow. She's lost control. This is wrong! Justice cannot yield to evil. I must win, no matter what! This is nothing more than self-righteousness. All we need to do to determine who is right is bad. What is she intending? No more coins or playing games! We ain't following your damn rules! Oh, you will. There is no room for negotiation. You will know soon enough. What was that? Now, come at me! You'll save her, right? All right, everyone. Be on alert! Ready! <laughs> May the best player win! All right, let's do it! people will just face the penalty. There's a penalty for not spinning the roulette. What should we do? You will predict which pocket the ball will fall into. Now, the time has come for our first round. Choose where you will place your bet. I'm almost positive she's going to try and cheat. But even if we bring that up, she'd just ignore us. We should go along with the game for now, and try to gain evidence on her methods of cheating. I agree. Well, how will you bet? your decision. Then let's see the results. floated for a split second there. How humiliating. Let's catch her in the act so she can't talk her way out of it. Have someone snipe the pocket when that glass lid appears. You're in charge of choosing who's gonna be the sniper. Let us expose her treachery. Leave it to me. I won't miss the mark. This is how it's done. 
May the best player win. The stuff displayed on the monitor changed. That must mean the betting changes every time. in their designated spot. All that's left is to wait for the next roulette spin. Very well, time to make your bet. Well, how will you bet? Hopefully your prediction will be correct this time. Manifest! 
It's only a shadow. Why are you so... Quiet! Sorry. We'll go grab the treasure. Makoto? I don't think it's wrong to bring light to evils which can't be judged by law. That's all the Phantom Thieves have been trying to do, too. But these aggressive investigations? Twisting the truth for your own personal gain? Please! You have to think back to the feelings you had when you first wanted to be a prosecutor. Think about your justice, sis. My justice. Try to remember how you used to be. How I... Nijima-san. She's just like my father. What caused them to change like this? Hmm. Even though their own desires were the cause, Succumbing to such distorted thoughts is strange. Is there another reason they don't know of? We found it. The investigation will now be able to proceed. The suspicions against you will be lifted as well. This deal we made was a great experience for me. To think that I, a detective, would act alongside the Phantom Thieves. Yes, and you all shall end this Phantom Thieves business. That was part of the promise, after all. Don't forget. All right, we don't need to stay here any longer. Are you all right? I am. Let's go. Huh? Enemy readings! When did they... They're gathering outside! For real? What the hell's going on? Look at those numbers. This doesn't look good. We defeated the palace ruler and even stole the treasure, yet the shadows are still restless. It doesn't make any sense. What's going on here? There are more coming? This will be dangerous if we don't do something. Huh? We need to go now. Those guys in black suits are almost here. We'll be done for if we get surrounded. A team this large would be discovered immediately. We had best split up for our escape. Although, we'll need someone to act as a decoy. No, that's too dangerous. Joker? Are you planning on distracting them by yourself? Let him do it, Queen. He's quiet. Once his mind's made up, he's not gonna take no for an answer. I'm sure you ain't gonna die. It's you we're talking about here. Please don't do anything reckless, okay? I'll never forgive you if you don't make it back. We still haven't fulfilled our deal, remember? Even more are coming! This truly is a painfully reluctant parting. It seems we had best hurry. We'll see you later. Stay calm, you can get away now! 
we'll retrieve the briefcase on our end. Hmm? What was that? Don't worry about us. Just concentrate on getting away. But I have to say, have showing something. yourself above that crowd earlier was an excellent move. Nice work as always, Joker. There he is! Just run! Get out of there! Okay, the enemy's focus. Everyone remember where we're meeting up? Stop right you there! Get away! I'll end this right now.
my weak self relied on you so much. That ends today. Let's do this, Senpai! The enemy readings have decreased? That's... It's been a while since we last fought side by side. But this time, it's my turn to come to your aid, Senpai. Now let's win this! Sona, all will be revealed! Show them, Sondrion! That's the last of them? I genuinely have no clue what just happened, but I take it you're okay? Wait, bad news. Enemy backup's headed your way. You need to book it right now. Please go. I'm going to make it harder for them to track you down. You still have something you need to do as a phantom thief, right? Then I won't stop you. Since I'm not a member of the phantom thieves, I'm in no position to interfere. However, please don't forget the promise we made, okay? Joker, you need to get out of there! Go, go, go! All right, let's do it! to find some kid. You have your teammate to thank for this. You were sold out. Suspect confirmed. Cuff it. 